Hey, this is Ben. Um, representing Bat Automotive, TroubleCodes.net, and myself, I suppose. Um, checking out um, P0101, which is mass airflow sensor uh, out of range. And on vehicles that have a mass airflow meter, um, I can show you on this. This is a 01 Mazda Tribute 3 liter. Um, this is the mass airflow sensor, or you know, somebody might call it MAF. Um, mass airflow meter is uh, mounted in such a way that all, well, not all of the air, but a sample of the air that passes from the air box to the intake uh, is measured. And the uh, connector here, and we can see this one here has uh, two, four, six pins, which tells me that the um, intake air temperature sensor is integrated um, with the mass airflow meter. And the idea is for the engine to get an idea of how much air, actually oxygen, is making it into the engine so that it can properly uh, tune uh, fuel injection for best power, best performance, and uh, fewest emissions. Um, P0101 uh, refers to an out of range problem in which the sensor or the computer is seeing something that it doesn't expect to see. And this can be caused by a few different things. Uh, it's a good idea to check. Um, first thing to check anytime you have uh, intake issues intake air issues is for leaks and one of the biggest one of the most common issues is this bellows here on many vehicles uh, just over time and you know this truck's got 210,000 miles on it it's a 2001 so you know it's got quite a few uh, years and miles where the rubber actually starts to get brittle this one you know is still flexible so it's not not prone to cracking but if it cracks, what will happen is that air will get in through the crack. And uh, because it's getting in here and not here, it's not being metered. It's not being measured. So that means you're getting more air than you should. Um, in some cases, depending on the programming, uh, something like this, an intake leak such as, like you can see this, this is starting to rot. Um, but it's still not cracked, still intact. So, you know, I'm not getting any fuel trim codes, um, but that would be something to look for. You might get fuel trim codes or you might get mass airflow meter codes. Um, another issue might be contamination in the, the, the element of the mass airflow meter. Toyota was um, uh, notorious for uh, mass airflow meter contamination uh, from aftermarket um, air filters. Uh, usually you'd end up with a fuel trim code and it was the mass airflow meter. We ended up replacing it and it comes out perfectly fine. Um, sometimes that contamination will lead to an out of range or performance code, in which case, you know, you, you can try cleaning the mass airflow meter. There is um, MAF cleaner on the market. Um, from my experience, it's about a 50-50 shot as to whether the uh, MAF cleaner will work or not. Um, the other thing to check for, uh, before, you know, these things can be expensive. I've seen them for anywhere from $100 to $400, uh, depending on your make and model. Uh, double check the connections. Uh, make sure that, let's see if I can pull, pop this off. Make sure that you got no corrosion, or if you look inside, uh, make sure that the pins are nice and straight. Um, there's no water. Um, make sure that when you plug it in, it's nice and seated. Um, follow the, the line to, in this case, the ECM is exposed, at least the connector, and in some cases, that could be a problem. If you get water coming in here, you could be having all kinds of issues. Um, double check, you can just unscrew this, make sure the battery is disconnected, open this, 
and find the line that goes from the ECM to the MAF and then you can test it with a voltmeter. Uh, that is one of the best ways to, uh, to isolate any circuit issues. Um, if you can isolate circuit issues and they're fine, uh, if you have no breakage, you have no intake leaks, you have no fuel trim codes concurrently, um, then it's safe to say that uh, you, have a, um, you have a problem with the sensor itself, in which case you'd probably be okay uh, replacing it. So um, that's again uh, taking a look at uh, DTC P0101, uh, ideas on what could be the cause, and um, we'll come back another day with uh, another, another video on, on fixing your car. Have a good day.